Hello friends, welcome back to Laravel 9 tutorial. So we are discussing about the Laravel joining concept. I already discussed about Laravel inner join, left join, right join, cross join, advanced join. And in this video, we are going to discuss about another type of joining that is sub query joining. Basically, this is a special purpose joining means sometimes you need some data from another table and you have another query running so you want to match that result with your existing query so how you can do this so in this case we can run sub query joining means basically there will run actually two query but in a same query right so how you can do this so let's see how we can achieve these things so i already uh, have a student controller so we discussed about what is controller and how to create all those things so if you don't see that video you can see from my playlist link are provided in the description section also all the uh, joining are already discussed and video are published so you can see from there right so now to achieve the sub query joining let's see let's create a function suppose uh, create a public um, function and my function name is suppose uh, sub query joining okay sub query join so name should be significant so that you can understand what is actually happening right so now if you check my database here you can see there is students table also you have a uh, subject table okay so these are the two tables now i want to get uh, some subject name from the subject table and i want to get student data from the student table but here i want the thing is I will get all the result from the students and along with this I will get the subject name using sub query joining right so now just create a query to fetch data from the subject table so let's create a query for subject data let's see I am taking these things suppose subject data and I am using the DB we installed uh, we use this DB and there's a reason I can access DB so write DB and the table name from where I actually am going to uh, face the data so this is my subject so all the subject data will get inside the subject data and I want to select only the um, student ID and name right so how can I do this so we have a student id so simply write a select statement so write select and inside here just use this first of all i need a student id and another thing i need the name right so name and i am taking alias as a, a subject name so actually when you run with the students table they have also name so that's the reason i am taking alias as subject name so that we can understand okay so this is basically the subject query now i just uh, going to create a another query suppose all the uh, uh, result will store in this so i'm taking a variable that is result and i will use that subject data inside my result data so here also i will create a table sorry here also i will uh, run a query so just use db table and this time the table name will be students okay so simply write students and here just use the keyword that is join sub so this is the query to use sub query joining so this is the keyword you want to remember that things so using the join sub i just uh, going to use this subject data here so basically this have a three parameters that is subject data and I am taking a name that is the subject data and then I am just going to use a closer function so here simply write a closer function and inside here I can write anything so I just want to use the uh, join variable so I am passing this here and simply using the join we can create a relation so i last day i already discussed about that things so in the same way i will uh, just going to use that things so join on so what will be the relation actually the student table id is using in the subject table 
as a foreign key this is a column name student id so basically student dot id equal to subject dot student id so i will use the relation so i will maintain that relation but we will not use this subject in directly here so how we can do this so simply just write students dot id and i will use the student id from subject table using the subject data so actually in the subject data we are getting the id and name so simply here just run uh, sorry here just write student dot id equal to subject data dot student id so actually here we will know the subject data inside this subject data variable and we will get the student id as we are uh, selecting right so this is selecting so now we can use this so inside the subject data we are getting student id and subject name and we are using inside this query right so actually this is the sub query joining but remember you need to use this keyword okay and finally i just want to get the result so simply write get so it will actually get the result and i want to display the result so simply just return the result okay and to get the output in the browser so simply create a get type um, routes so simply write route get and here my uh, url will be the sub query right sub query join anything right so you can uh, add any num and any url actually just going to use the controller there is a student controller colon colon class and the methods name what is my method name that is the sub query join okay so all are done let's go to this link and let's see what appear so here just go and refresh okay we are getting these things right so we are getting all the student data right id name email phone age status skated operator these are the student tables data so you can see so all are getting and along with that we are getting the student id and the subject name as we are using sub query joining we are getting these things so here you can see 0 to 3 that is the four records so why four records actually it's actually getting from the these relations right so we, we are getting the id 5 3 2 7 1 0 so 0 is no student so and if you check there is no student which have a 7 so out of 6 we are getting only 4 records okay so basically this is sub query joining using that join we can get this type of things i am trying to show you how simply we can uh, present with you but uh, in a real life there have multiple table and clauses and various type of requirements that time in sub query join will help you right so these things you can get from normal join also but i want to show you how to use the sub query joining okay so if you have any queries about this video please comment in a below comment section next day we are going to discuss about another important thing so i will brush up all the things with a condition clause so i will use the eloquent and using eloquent what have the uh, condition clause for the query i will show you step by step okay so please like and subscribe this channel for upcoming video thanks for watching this video have a good day bye